Martin, can you characterize Czech literature in the 19th century? Well, it's a question. It, it's not easy because uh, the, the 19th century, it's a long time, you know. You know, it, 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 it's a long period. First of all, we should stress that uh, Czech lands were part of Austrian Empire. Uh, so, so it means that we weren't free, simply. And uh, the, 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 therefore, the, the main, main theme of, of, of Czech literature, uh, especially uh, at the beginning of the 19th century, was nationalism uh, and the, the fight for, uh, for, for national freedom, the fight for Czech language and Czech culture. It, 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 it was really the, the basic topic, I would say. So nationalism was a very important topic oh, in the 19th century? Yes, it, it, it was the, the, the main, main topic for me because the first half of the 19th century was, was, was the time of, of national revival. Uh, as we know, it was quite important to, to define new Czech nation and, uh, and uh, to know that we are different from German influences the, uh, and, and that we, uh, we uh, as Czechs have a have a Czech language, Czech literature with a long tradition. So, so, so it was necessary to, to, to renew uh, that tradition uh, in the first half of, of the century. So basically Czech literature played a political role? Oh yeah, yes, we, 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 we can compare it with, with the, the, the national fight of the Irish and the Scots and the Welsh, you know, but, but uh, it, it was simply simply a, a national a national revival, and the main main task of, of the Czech nation was was to say to the world that we 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 have a deep literary cultural tradition, we have our own language, and we 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 want to play uh, an important role in Central Europe. Uh, it was all. As a literary historian, would you say that the political content of Czech literature in the 19th century damaged the literature artistically or was a help? It helped, of course, because simply Czech people were activated. They simply had a feeling that it's necessary to do something for, for themselves. So, so when, when, when people are patriots, they try to create a culture in their own language. And I, I think that the, the, the Czechs succeeded at last, that they were successful. So basically so. because there was this national cause, mm -hmm. it kind of gave them energy. It oh, yeah, inspired yeah, yeah, them yeah, to yeah, higher yeah, literary yeah, effort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you are right, are right absolutely. They were, they were full of, of nationalist and political energy. And maybe, well, some, some people say that, that, that this source of, of energy was very important for, for, for Czech people to, to, to the Velvet Revolution. So some, some people say that the, the end of Czech national uh, revival uh, uh, was in, in 1989, in fact. Uh, and uh, I, I partly agree with that. We can compare it with, with other uh, 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 national revivals. Uh, it, it, it's all the same. Uh, when, when some people like for example, the, 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 the Scots wanted to, to fight for their identity. They, they stressed their, 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 their literature, they, they stressed their folklore and, and started to create new, new, new literature, new, new, new romantic literature at, at the beginning. And then, then in the second half, half of the 19th century, it, it was, of course, a, a, a really a realistic literature. Can you characterize Czech literature in the 19th century? We could divide it into two halves because the first half of the 19th century, century was in the uh, was mostly pre-romantic and then romantic to, to the, the revolutionary year uh, 1848 and then after uh, after the half of the century the, the, the realistic tendencies started to, to prevail and be more and more important and the, the, they succeeded the, then it led to, to, to naturalism and the, then, then to, to, to the modernist tendencies at the very end of the century. So, romantic literature at the beginning of the 19th century, realistic literature in the second half of the 19th century, and then modernism and West European mm -hmm. influences came. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, absolutely, I agree. 
the, 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 there is uh, nothing to add. Which Czech poets are the most significant in 19th century Czech literature? We of course uh, learn a, a lot about uh, about a famous Czech romantic author called Karel Hinek Mácha. Um, he, he, he really wo, wo, was a very good uh, very good poet, and uh, he was a, a source of inspiration then uh, in the uh, in the uh, in the 20th century for for modernist poetry because he he, he probably was the only a real poet in the real sense of the world because in the 19th century yes yes mm -hmm. but but, but uh, when, when, when we compare karel hinek macha with with, with a wider world context he was simply a byronist he was he was deeply influenced by by by, by lord byron why do the czechs like macha uh, it's a source of inspiration for young people. I, I feel it among my, my students because they really, uh, really follow Karel Hinek Macha and they, they, they admire uh, his love for uh, old castle ruins and the, the, the love of old history. And uh, they, they, they seem simply uh, uh, try to follow him. So it, it, it's of course a, a, a source of typical uh, romantic moods and uh, young people are, 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 I hope, that they are still romantic. So it, there must be some other poets in the 19th century who are significant. Jana Neruda, uh, he is famous of course, uh, uh, first of all, for his short stories, but, but, but he also uh, wrote a, a, a lot of lot of poetry, and especially his, his early poetry is very, very satiric, you know. He, he was inspired, of course, by a German poet Heinrich Heine. When we, we, we studied at the Czech basic school, you, you and, and me as well, we, we were forced to, to learn by heart the poem uh, a romance about about Charles the Fourth. It's a typical nationalist uh, uh, nationalist poetry, but but it's well written because uh, it's about the the feelings of, of emperor who came to Bohemia from from Luxembourg and who, who was educated in France and he, he, he when he when he moved to to Bohemia he he, he tried tried to plant uh, the. French French wine uh, in the Czech, uh, Czech lands, and the, then then he asked uh, asked his close friend uh, Bushek of of Walhart to, 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 to try to drink with him the, the, the new the new Czech wine, and the it, it, it was a funny result because because the the wine was was so so, so bitter that, 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 that it was dis disgusting for the. French, French lips, you know. I will, I will quote, quote it when the, the, the King, King Charles says, I called it wine, it's a bit of froth, this killing stuff, it twists the mouth. So mm -hmm. it, it was some, some, something d d d disgusting. And then he follows, I bring here wines from Burgundy. In rising anger spoke the king, and from Bohemia's noble land, I see such bitter wormwood spring. So, so, uh, so, so uh, the the good quality from 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 Western culture and uh, Western style of, of life, life uh, change in the uh, in the strange uh, Central Europe uh, into into something strange and 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 uh, disgusting. But, but that's uh, not very nationalistic. No, no, but but but, but then 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 uh, he 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 drinks. The, the, they they drink all the night. It, it's also. But may be typical for for Czech lands, you know. Uh, and then then uh, he, he he says, well, uh, well, it's it, it, it's 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 not so bad bad basically. And the 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 the, the, la, la, the last lines lines of, of the of the poem of the nationalist poem is when when the Bushek Bushek says. Uh, uh, Shall I then die, O thirst, by heaven, thou the blind good page? Dost thou not see an empty glass before my lies, and let my measure generous be? And the, the, then the, they, they follow drinking, and, and the, the, the last verses are, are, are said by Bushek. Look close upon that folk, I pray, the Czech folk, of course, and thou to them wilt press thy lips, not ever take thy lips away. 
so 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 we 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 are we are we are we, we are a bit at first glance probably, but but then we really have uh, have a good quality and and the 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 wine is drinkable when when you try to drink it for 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 a long time, the, the, then you see see that the, that it's not only a a, a, a place of of bitterness. Uh, and a place of absurdity, uh, as as many people say about Central Europe. But but uh, when you press the lips, the, the, there is also something probably sweet in it. And what about his prose? Well, for for for, for me, his collection of the short stories, uh, Malostranské povídky, it, it was translated like the the, the tales of of the uh, little quarter, mm -hmm. I think. Well, for me, it's a jewel of. of of the Czech literature of the 19th century. It, it, it's really the, the, the masterpiece, I would say. And I, I, I personally think that, that when, when crowds of tourists go to, to central Prague and they see the, the, the stupid T-shirts with Frank, Franz Kafka, <laughs> because it, 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 it's an it's icon, of course, for tourists. I think that those people should also read the short stories of, of Jana Neruda. It's a real European quality. It's comparable, for example, for me with Turgenev or Anton Pavlovich Chekhov. Mm -hmm. you know, it, 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 it's something, something different from the, the, the Austrian or German quality, but yet, yet, yet it's full of, full of atmosphere of, of Prague. It, 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 it's a really very atmospheric, it's well, well descriptive uh, uh, characters of old Prague. And it's, it's, uh, it's moving and it's full of humor. So I think it, it, it's a really good sample of, of modern short story in, in, in the sense as we understand it, uh, as, as we understand it in the sense uh, of, uh, of uh, Edgar Allan Poe and Anton Pavlovich Chekhov and so on. So it, it, it's for, for me, it's a real masterpiece. Are there any other fiction writers that you would recommend? Jakub Arbes, for example, uh, he, he, he was not uh, translated to foreign languages, but, but uh, he, 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 was, uh, he was a lover of Edgar Allan Poe, and he wrote, wrote so-called uh, 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 Romanettos, you know. It, 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 it's it, 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 it's uh, a form of, of, of the short story which is full of, full of mystery. In, in English, we, we could call them uh, mystery tales from old Prague uh, and uh, they, they, are, they, are, they are also well written and, and uh, besides that uh, I, I know that many young people uh, like science fiction maybe because it, it's very very productive uh, kind of uh, kind of uh, literature and uh, Jakub Arbes was the, was the founder of, of Czech science fiction he, 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 for example, wrote a, a, a novelette called uh, Newton's Brain. Uh, it's it, the, 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 the first text of science fiction in, 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 in Czech literature. And it's really possible to, to, to read it now. It, 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 it can say something to com contemporary admirers of sci-fi. Well, from, 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 from the, the, the very end of the 19th century, I, I'd like to stress Julius Zayer, you know, because uh, it, 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 he was a typical neo-Roman neo romantic. You know. Okay, so that uh, makes Czech literature come full circle first. Romanticism, then realism, then neo-romanticism. No, yeah, yeah, yes, but, 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 but you know, it, 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 it was also part of the way of Czech literature uh, to the world, to stress these, these ideas of, of neo-romanticism and decadence. Mm. You know. it, 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 in fact, it, it was French influence at, at the fin, fin de siècle, of mm. course. Which of their texts would you recommend as the most important? Some of his uh, legends, and uh, he, 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 
also uh, rewrote some some old uh, Irish myth and, and legends, for example. Czech Czech readers, of course, prefer Czech uh, Czech topics, of course. But but, but he, he was he was really deeply educated, and, and for example, uh, his, his, his text on on old old uh, old uh, old Irish myth are quite quite well written. Thank you very much.